Oh, hello. The plan don't look back. This is a rather sad game. It's also a fairly difficult one. That jump harder than it needed to be. So, mostly my strategy with this is going to be to uh, finish this game as quickly as humanly possible. Um, since it's sort of unfairly difficult on the other hand. will happen, perhaps, but more likely than not, they won't. Well, we're falling a long way. We're we going to hell. Oh, jeez. This is too many snakes, guys. Too many snakes. This. Oh, this is a shameful, shameful attempt at gaming on my part. There we go. Let's keep making some progress, huh? Hey, light. Oh, the platforms disappear. Isn't that wonderful? And we fall off. Well, well, that's just wonderful, isn't it? My timing is going to be perfect. Isn't it? I really gotta slow my ropes. How am I supposed to make this jump? It seems fairly difficult. Maybe I have to get more momentum? But this game doesn't have much in the way of momentum. There we go. And I fell off. And then I fell off. But fortunately, this game is nice enough to let you have a checkpoint right before that jump because they know it's a giant dick. Oh, and I fell off because I didn't jump. Thanks, game. Yeah, I know I'm a pussy. I'm apparently bad at this game, huh? Wow. This has its moments of giant difficulty. Unfortunately, this is the way this game set check checkpoint uh, checkpoint system seems to work makes it a fair bit easier to actually do platforming in it. Oh no! Shooting it doesn't seem to work that much. Oh well, let's just shoot it in the back. Oh, 
that works. I don't know what I did differently there. we can, right? And screwing up this jump because it's unfair just a bit. Especially because there doesn't seem to actually be a uh, respawn time for that particular platform. So we're gonna eventually make our way past the screen. But this is difficult. Timing on this puzzle it seems to be ever so slightly not designed for people as much as it was developed for uh, some sort of telepathic mind reading culture. Oh, and I had it there too. So you gotta jump um, right as the thing goes away. And Ah, oh, there we go. This uh, particular example, this particular example of gaming, uh, sort of represents, in my mind, a uh, period of gaming culture that was heavily reliant on um, story, like storytelling, as opposed to the, uh, what was more traditional at the, t at the time, at the point. This was more traditional at the time of the point to uh, have sort of meta commentary. Which, don't get me wrong, I like as much as the next guy. But there is something to be said for uh, having a solid plot that actually speaks for itself and presents the story in an interesting and new way. It's kind of unfair. And I'm so glad that fireball didn't hit me. So we're going to continue to try to fight this, whatever it is, with the powers of friendship. And by friendship I mean bullets. Defeat as many of them as we can. No promises that it'll work. There we go. Yeah. Success. Alright. Oh my god! You... you are not okay. I'm not, I'm not happy with this. Oh, I 
turned around I'm trying to fix my jump with it. So this one is arguably my least favorite room in this game because it is not very nice. But we're through it, so we move on and on and on to this room, which we occasionally will miss and have to start over. I've had a lot of trouble in the past with this game. story is of this game that I have been keeping a secret for so long. That's right, folks. This is, in fact, the story of Orpheus from uh, Greek mythology, who visits his grave to see that uh, he can't turn around for fear of evaporating. And you have the uh, twist ending, which is that everyone is dead. So, and we have a loop, uh, predictable sort of, not predictable, uh, sort of a setup for a loop here, which is to say that that is the protagonist of the new game, regardless. Oh, that little figure represents Orpheus, and so each time you return to the underworld, you die, or something to that effect. Anyway, it's been good, y'all. Um, I guess I'll do another Let's Play if I get a chance. 